there's Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards, your radio home for all things home, garden, and life improvement. Thanks for sharing part of your Saturday with me, and we are uh, broadcasting from one of my favorite places to learn about everything for the inside and the outside of your home. It's the Pastina Showcase House, and this is the first Saturday of the tour. We had our VIP listener tour uh, go through a little while ago, and you're thinking, well, how come I didn't get to go? Well, you can. You can buy tickets at PasadenaShowcase.org. It goes on for several weeks, and it's a great cause bringing uh, music to the lives of children. And you can also win tickets. I'm going to be giving them away throughout the next few weeks, so just email me at CindyDole.com or go to the Facebook page and hopefully you'll be lucky enough to get to go because it really is a magnificent home. So picture this. It's like a storybook English home. A lot of bricks. It's a beautiful rooftop. It's at least two stories tall. Winding, curving uh, entryway. All these old beautiful trees. After all, this home does date back to the 20s and it was a Paul Williams design. And so now you have these 30 designers, interior and exterior, who have been assigned to do something better because, well, it needed about little year than year after TLC. Uh, a lot of people come through then to see after all this work is done what they can see. And it's everything from the design to the landscaping to the little fun decor things that you may not have thought of. And so I hope that you'll come and take a look because there's at least 60,000 people who do. And so what are you waiting for? It's just a fun, fun thing. So we love to every year talk with the designers so that we can pick their brains and get smarter because they did for the past three months something really amazing. I mean, the home is great already, but it needed some work. And one of the areas we're going to talk about is the pool area. Uh, maybe you have a pool. Maybe you wanted to have a pool. Or you, at the very least, I know as we've been talking about the outdoor kitchen, want to spend more time uh, living outside and enjoying and entertaining that space. Space. So we're going to get some ideas from the team that really did a, a neat, neat thing to the pool, the pergola, the decking area, there's a pond. I mean, it goes on and on. You're going to get some, some very nice ideas. And then later... Uh, we're going to talk with a designer inside who worked on what's called the Great Room. And this is a guy who loves to take risks. I, mean, I think you remember from a previous year or so at the Showcase House, uh, he used this uh, yellow that was from a Prada uh, rain coat, and that was the inspiration for this leather chair. And this year he's used tangerine and pink and lime and all these funky colors. There's even a pink rug, throw rug in this room. And so we're going to learn from him on what on earth was he thinking and why should you be thinking that way because it's it's fun and funky and bold and, and why not? So all that's to look forward to. Again, you can call in at 888-KFWB980 and, and uh, ask questions if you'd like to join in, 888-539-2980. So let's get to uh, my next guest because uh, this is the candy store of ideas picture this you're walking to the side of the showcase house at one point in time there was a pool but not so much and now it looks like something that you might see at Hearst Castle this is the pool Okay, so, uh, yeah, you're thinking of uh, Kokomo because you want to be outside. Who doesn't in Southern California? But this is a pool and then some, and it's all because of the team at Pacific Outdoor Living. And with me is the owner, Terry Morrill, to talk about the before and the after. So, hi, Terry. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> this swimming pool before, it was just your basic humdrum pool, wasn't it? Well, it was more than that, actually. I, the first time that I walked, I thought, geez, this got, looks like a prison detention yard. Really? That because bad? Because it had, it had the brick walls all the way around it, uh -huh. and the pool was completely covered with oak leaves because uh, none of the filter systems worked. Uh-oh. And we actually did not want it that area and didn't want to do it the pool. And the, one of the regular guys that do, does the pools didn't do it this year, so they asked us, and we went, Wow. That this is, is a major project. Major, major project. Yeah. But one of the things that we did do to to renovate it is that we took out one of the walls, the brick walls. The prison the, walls. The prison walls, <laughs> right. And I talked to the owner later. It was built, the pool was built in 1937. So it was plaster. Yeah, it was plaster, but they didn't have rebar. They just put uh, wire mesh. So it wasn't structurally, wasn't the best. And he used to send the kids down to that area for detention. Are you serious? <laughs> That's what he told me. No, come on. No, I just made that up. <laughs> but but it, it looked like it, and it had that prison feeling, so we opened it up. And we then, have ways yes. to make you talk. <laughs> and on the, on the north side, it has that hill that comes down, so we where the wall, we removed the wall and put a stream that goes down into a pond, and then we raise that area of the pool up so that, and then we have a, the waterfall that 
continues on into the pool. Well, that's quite the illusion, too, because I was over there earlier, and all the different people taking the tour today were saying, wow, how can the pond water end up in the pool? I'm like, no, it's an illusion. It stops. But there's a special little thing that we have. Go, special we, thing. That's right. We let the fish into the pool at no. night. <laughs> and then they ring a bell and well, they you, come back. You know their name and they, they <laughs> respond. Exactly. No, but you wouldn't want the chemical water to get in the pond and it doesn't. Or the pond water to get in the pool and it right. doesn't. But yeah. it looks like it's just kind of dripping in there and it's very, very clever. Right. Well, and thanks. So it's a fun touch. So you have the pool, you have the pond, you have the little waterfall, you have paving stone right. as, as your deck. Right. And, and, and it ties in with the, the new coping. That and with we the, put. English, the English vibe of the home. Right. Yeah. And, and then with the pergola, we copied it with the corbels. We copied the corbels that Paul Williams used in, in the house. And a lot of people probably won't notice that unless you really look at it. Well, we will now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then just furnished it. And then with some of the, the brick that we took down from the wall, we built little planter oh, areas. The prison walls are still there in, in spirit. That's right. And we, we put planter areas in the corners, in each one of the corners, with a maple tree. And, and they look great. Really added a lot of life because there was no, it was just concrete deck with the walls around it and this. It's an enormous pool. It's a big pool. How big is it? It's. Uh, or how deep is it? it? It's eight feet deep at uh -huh. the deep end. I mean, it's, it's not quite Olympic size, but it, it's big. That's right. It is. It's and like maybe it's, double the normal size of a pool. Pretty much. It's yeah. about 60 feet long by, mm -hmm. I think, 20 feet wide. And it's, is it rect rectangular, I'd say, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. And, and so you've done something innovative. You added this cobalt blue design right. on the on the bottom of the pool so what is that material that you added to give it, it that distinctive it is like Hearst Castle that kind of a look yeah it is and it, it well it's kind of it's a glass tile it's not just a regular tile it's all it's a glass tile and mm. it has and it's it's colored that cobalt blue and that glass tile comes in all different shapes or colors and in actual fact we first wanted to put a big rose on the bottom oh really um but the owner wasn't as didn't go for it. It's not as easy as painting a room, you know, a tangerine orange, uh -huh. and you can repaint the room. So it was a rose, and it roses all the way around the, the water line. So there's millions of ideas and things that you can do, and the cobalt blue is just one of them, and that does give it the Hearst Castle look. Yeah. But everybody doesn't want a Hearst Castle, <laughs> you know. They can maybe like the rose. Oh, we'd like his money, yeah. you know. That wouldn't be bad. That's right. Um, but, no, the, I think that that blue really gives it that rich Mediterranean Ah, I mean, just, it's just soothing just to look at. It is. You know, it makes you want to take a plunge and get in the pool. It is. Is it a heated pool? It is. Ah. Yeah. yeah. There, there's a heater and the, all the filtration system. And like a solar it. heater or anything interesting like that? You're, you're basic. No. If we had room in a, in a south-facing roof or deck or wall, that we could easily put solar heat on it. Uh-huh. But not in this case. Okay. That's all right. Are a lot of people asking for solar heat for their pools? People do all the time. I mean, people are asking it, for it, solar panels that's for right. their homes. And it, and it is one of the most efficient solar treatments, and uh, mm -hmm. that you can heat a pool. It's 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 fantastic. Because, I mean, we're lucky where we can swim almost, well, at least six months of the year here. But if people felt like they wanted it to be really cozy, they might want a little heat. You know? Right. And it's expensive to use gas to heat the it pool. It is. I mean, it's like 100 bucks a shot. It is. You better really like those people who are over in the pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or charge admission or something, right. you know? But today, with a lot of the new technology with pools and with the – you can have uh, – uh, you can be driving home and hit your remote. Remote, remote and, and it's it, waiting for you. Well, it'll turn on the jacuzzi. Oh, my gosh. All right. And well, then you can turn it on and off, and you can think about see, it. See, now you've mentioned a toy, and then my husband is all about the toy. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, well, don't go away, because we're going to talk more with Terry Morrill with Pacific Outdoor Living about what's new for pools. The pool scapes, right? It's about the landscaping, too, and, and integrating with the, the hardscape and making it feel like you're in a place that was always that way. Yeah. So don't go away. Home Wizards continues. I'm Cindy Dole. You're listening to a very special broadcast from outside the Pasadena Showcase House. That's why we're talking Pasadena. Don't you go away. We're back after this. All right. Yeah, we're twisting by the pool. And who wouldn't want to twist by this pool? I mean, it is luxurious. Cindy Dole here. Uh, very special Home Wizards are broadcasting live from outside the Pasadena Showcase House where 
you know, every year, thousands and thousands of people come by to see and learn from all that these uh, designers have been doing for the past several months. So I hope you get a chance to come by and see it. And uh, when you go, uh, you'll see the pool. You can't miss it. And we've been talking with Terry Morrill, whose who's company, uh, Pacific Outdoor Living, did this whole pool space. I mean, it's not just the pool. It's everything that goes with the pool, right? Right. So I mean, it's all, all the decking, yeah. the pond that goes next to it. Uh, the pergola that's there, the whole work. And there's some outdoor furniture. And yeah. outdoor furniture. Because you got to luxuriate. Yeah. I mean, you can't just be standing that's all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's some fantastic uh, outdoor furniture these days, too. Just yeah. absolutely spectacular. And this is all done by uh, Outdoor Elegance mm -hmm. that, that we work with in partnership, and they have a great showroom and uh, terrific furniture. Now, what about outdoor lighting? Do you uh, have that? Yes, we do. And Anything that we do now, we do everything as LED. We won't do anything other than that, mainly because in my backyard, I hate those incandescent, the, the lights that yeah, uh, they burn uh, out all oh, the time. I, I got to change them you all the time. You breathe on them and they burn out. Yeah. You know? So now it's 15 years. Nice. And the, it's, the, the, the technology is there as far as the color. People wouldn't go to LED lighting because there wasn't enough color, wasn't bright enough. And the the color was off. It was too yellow, too. But but today with the technology, it's fantastic. And the price is right. I mean, we if, typically can install it for the same price we would just a regular uh, out low voltage light. Yeah, and it's it so makes the space. I mean, you've got it's all to me about the music, the outdoor music, and the lights, and then everything else is terrific. Yes, right. I that's mean, you right. could really have no pool at all. And but at least I mean I know you'd like us to have a pool, but you could have none. But just have a great, you know, outdoor landscape and paving stone, and then but some nice lighting and furniture and music, and you're done. You have a, you're pretty there, much, you yeah. know. And then a, even a little bubbling vase or Above, something to sound a little it. little yes. teeny sound of water, very inexpensive. Very nice. There's so many things that you can do like yeah. that. And yeah, lighting is 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 wow. Right. So how when you were trying to put this all together and make it look so seamless and you integrated the old plain pool with now the better pool that has the the cobalt blue glass tile that is uh, kind of giving it that Hearst Castle look at, at the bottom of the pool. You have plants that almost seem like they come up and caress this whole area. I mean that wasn't just by luck. That's by design. Right. And, and we have some not only me, but some fantastic designers that are just incredible at being able to do that, being able to look at an area and bring it in and, and tie everything together, being able to bring plants with that blue color and pots that we have some blue cobalt blue pots that are nice. outside and, you know, it, it, it all ties together. And it's, and you look at it and, and sometimes you can, you're really good and you can get it on paper and sometimes you can get it and then you change mm -hmm. some things around and add some more plants and, uh, so so then it really, it, it's you go, okay, we're done. This is great. So this pool had to be resurfaced completely? Yes. So tell me about the whole project and what was involved with, how do you do that? Well, you go in and you actually chip out all the old plaster and you get down to the gunite or the concrete base. You're pulverizing that baby. Right. Yeah, well, you take it all out. Take yeah. it all out. Yeah. And then at, and then at that point you put in whatever tile you're going to do. If you're going to do your waterline tile, then you re and then you put your coping. Of mm -hmm, course, you mm -hmm. put your coping first, then your tile, then your re plaster. And when you do coping, I mean, you, there's tons of different type of coping, which is really neat. And and you, you so you tie that into the complete design that you're going to do. And and again, there's so many different products today. Instead of this the the old kind when I, there was only when I was a kid, they only had one kind of coping that you know right, the safety right, right. coping but there's a lot more architectural pleasing copings that you can put in and there's so many different surfaces i mean besides plaster i mean it, there's all these different kind of surfaces that feel like stone or sand or look or, almost like a beach or they are s yeah. stone or sand yeah th there's a, the whole pebble tech finish that you can do I love uh, that. It, it's fantastic. And the other thing is that then you can make a, what's called a Baja bench, which uh -huh. we did down there. At, at one end, instead of the ladders, you get rid of the ladders and, and you make benches. so you can Inside the water. Inside the water and steps. So even, even in the deep end, you can have a bench so you can go st easily get out in the corners. Or you can take a whole area and just have it, uh, you know, four or five inches deep under the water that you can sit. And, and, and how fun yeah and then you can build bars 
In, Thank goodness. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> put, a bar, show, put a bar in the showcase right house there. has a bar everywhere, including the garage. I mean, it's almost <laughs> like as you walk to the, the mailbox, they're arriving with a cocktail or something. It's kind of funny that way. But uh, it is. It's a very entertainment-rich um, environment. Right, right. <laughs> um, so with the pool, you have... Maybe that for a lot of people who have pools, I mean, I'm not sure how many in Southern California, the thousands and thousands that have old, boring plaster pools, maybe that kidney-shaped pool, they're thinking, I want to resurface it. I'd like to maybe change it out. What kind of issues should we think about? I mean, is that something that can, can be done? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you can basically add areas. You can add a, You can a, add the little seating area. You can add a seat, seating area. You can, you can cha change our coping, the, yeah. the rim. And and you can change the design. If it's a if it's a rectangle, you can make it into an L shape. Really? I mean you, you can do practically anything with it. And and, and e even if the pool then the house was constructed later and it was very difficult to get into the backyard I'm, we can get into a pretty small space. Yeah. The, the machinery, we pretty much need a, a three-foot entryway, which most people Well, you have. come in by helicopter, don't you? It, well, often, but it, it's too expensive to bring, <laughs> to, to bring the, all that dirt out by helicopter. Paratroopers. I, that's, <laughs> I have visions of you guys, you know, coming in like that. Yeah, but if you move a tool, you're going to pond and you dig a pond, you're, gonna, you're talking hundreds of tons of dirt that you're yeah. taking out. Right. Are you hearing about people wanting to fill up their pool? We are, and and we've or turn it into a pond. We've you done had, yeah. we've done both. We've filled up pools, and we've turned them into a a, a, a swimming pool, chlorine pool that we've turned into a a beautiful pond, a natural pond, and people will swim in. People the, can swim in, in that it. pool pond. That's right. right, with with waterfalls coming down, and yeah. So and and we do everything, you know, everything from. Saltwater pools? Saltwater pools. Now, are they all that? I mean, I hear pros and cons about saltwater pools. They're absolutely worth it. Really? Yeah. Easier to and, maintain? And easier to maintain. And it's not like you think, oh, like the salt water that you go into the ocean. You can barely feel that. It, it, it's still... It's not going to burn your eyes? No. No. And, and, and it's it's easier. It doesn't have that chlorine smell as much. and it's. So there's no chemicals needed to maintain it, is what you're saying, or just a less... Well, less. Uh -huh. it, th there are still chemicals, and the filtration system's slightly different. Okay. Okay. What about the price point of this pool that we saw today? As people come and ooh and ah, and they think, okay, maybe I, I'd like to have that. I'm not sure if I can. And if I can't, then what about some of the other things that are more within my range? I mean, give us a sense of, you know, point A to point B. Well, probably pool makeovers, clean, yeah. you know, are, are in the 20, 20 to 30,000, depending on the equipment, depending on how many Baja benches you put in, depending on the tile work. Okay. Uh, but you could easily get, and even, even under that, depending on the size of the pool. And a new pool, you, you're, you're looking at the 30, 40, 50, 60s. I was going to say at least 50, probably. Well, yeah. you know, and, and again, it's, it's it depends. totally depends on how much you put into it, yeah. how big the pool is, uh -huh. and again, even how hard it is. Even though it's you, we can get into a small area, it's going to be cheaper to build a pool that you can drive the truck right up next to. I see. I see. Well, after we see this pool, though, we're going to go, wow, our pool at home, I want a better one <laughs> or something. Yes. I know. Well, there's so much to learn from your, uh, your, your space, Terry. So thanks for sharing. It's Terry Morrill with Pacific Outdoor Living, and you guys do it all. And I think my favorite part is the pond that looks like it's spilling into the pool. So look at that, and, and when the person behind you in line says, oh, look, how come that pond water is getting in the pool or the pool water is getting in the pond? It's not, although you could safely swim with the fish. That's in, right. In the pond, but yeah. this is set up differently. It's an illusion. Right, and they're two <laughs> completely different, different environments. Systems, different, different systems, different environments. One's a biological and the other's right. a chemical. Well, thank you, Terry. Your website is? Is PacificOutdoorLiving.com. There you go. All right, well, coming up next, we're going to head to the great room and uh, learn how to use some really funky, bold colors with one of the designers that just kind of worked it up. That's next, Home Wizards, live from the past in the Showcase House. I'm Cindy Dole, and we're back in just a moment. Try to choose her.